The dyadic adjustment scale was developed by Graham Spanier in 1976. The purpose behind creating the dyadic adjustment scale was to develop a relationship adjustment measure that could be used not only with married couples, but with other dyads such as unmarried, cohabitating, or same-sex couples. By using this scale in measuring both partners' perceptions of the relationship, it is possible to obtain different views of the relationship for integration into a total diagnostic picture. This enables the clinician to gain insight into each partner's experience of the relationship, allowing for a comparison on how their experiences converge and differ. It is a 32-item rating instrument written on an 8th grade reading level that may be completed by either one or both partners in a relationship. Respondents are asked to rate each of the items on a Likert scale, choosing the most suitable response options. Respondents are also asked to indicate the extent of agreement or disagreement between the individual and his or her partner for each item. The instructions of the test are clear and concise. Most persons have disagreements in their relationships. Please indicate below the approximate extent of agreement or disagreement between you and your partner for each item on the following list. Couples are to fill out the form separately and not discuss their answers with each other before completing the scale. It includes four subscales. Of the 32 scale items, 13 measure dyadic consensus, 10 measure dyadic satisfaction, 5 measure dyadic cohesion, and 4 measure affectional expression. Dyadic consensus is the degree to which respondent agrees with partner. It assesses the extent of agreement between partners on matters important to the relationship such as religion, recreation, friends, household tasks, and time spent together. Dyadic satisfaction is the degree to which respondent agrees with partner. It measures the amount of tension in the relationship and the extent to which the individual has considered ending it. Higher scores on dyadic satisfaction indicate satisfaction with the present state of the relationship and commitment to its continuance. Dyadic cohesion is a degree to which respondent and, a, and partner participate in activities together. It assesses the common interest in activities shared by the couple. Affectional expression is the degree to which respondent agrees with partner regarding emotional affection. It measures an individual satisfaction in the expression of affection and sex in the relationship. The questionnaire was given to 218 white married couples in Pennsylvania. The sample consisted primarily of working and middle class residents who worked for one of four industrial or corporate firms which agreed to take part in the study. Questionnaires were also mailed to every person who had obtained a divorce during the past year. 94 usable questionnaires were obtained from the sample of approximately 400 located. This group was directed to respond to the questions on the basis of the last month they spent with their former spouses. A small sample of never married cohabiting couples were also given the questionnaire to determine applicability of the scales for non-marital diets. No significant differences were found between male and female scores. A complete demographic description and characteristics of the samples are described in retail in the Dyadic Adjustment Scale Manual. The procedures used in the development of the Dyadic Adjustment Scale are extensions of those used by Locke and his colleagues and the developers of other marital adjustment scales. All items which could be located in any marital adjustment scale were identified. This produced approximately 300 items. All duplicate items were then eliminated. Three judges other than the author examined all remaining items. To be acceptable, an item had to be judged relevant for relationships in the 1970s and had to be an indicator of marital adjustment or a closely related concept. The 200 remaining items were modified, were necessary to make them more complete, and 25 new items were tried. Statistical tests were then used to eliminate unacceptable items, and the 32 that remain comprise the present scale. These items significantly discriminated between divorced and married couples. 114.8 versus 70.7. Reliability for the entire 32 item scale is quite high at 0.96 and high for the subscales. Dyadic consensus at 0.90, 
dyadic satisfaction at point 94, and dyadic cohesion at point 86. Only a fractional expression subscale has a reliability that dictates considerable caution at point 73. The Lock Wallace Marital Adjustment Test, a frequently used scale for measuring marital adjustment, was selected to assess how the dyadic adjustment scale correlated with other similar scales. The correlation between the scales was 0.86 among married respondents and 0.88 among divorced respondents. Each of the 32 items in the scale correlated significantly with the external criterion of marital status. In other words, for each item, the divorce sample differed significantly from the married sample for assessing differences between sample means. Construct validity was further established through the factor analysis of the final 32 item scale, four interrelated components, three of which were hypothesized as components of adjustment were found to exist. Thus, the dyadic adjustment scale appears to measure the construct defined earlier. A person taking this test can obtain a score from 0 to 151. Lower scores on the DAS are indicative of having a problem, while higher scores indicate little or no problem. The higher the score, the better is the person's adjustment to the marriage. The Multi Health Systems is the leading publisher of Dyadic Adjustment Scale. It is available in quick score format, designed for easy recording, scoring, and profiling of responses. No scoring templates are necessary. The respondent's answers automatically transfer through to the concealed scoring page. The DAS Windows based software enables you to administer and score the scale assessments automatically while the respondent is seated at the computer. For more information on platform programs, please visit mhs.com. While the dyadic adjustment scale can be easily administered and scored by counselors, nurses, physicians, psychologists, social workers, and other professionals with advanced training in psychological assessment, we must adhere to relevant professional standards and assume responsibility for the use, interpretation, and communication of results. B-level qualifications require that, as a minimum, the user has completed courses and tests and measurement at a university or has received equivalent documented training. Since this scale was sampled by a dominant group on a dominant group, care must be taken to ensure that results are interpreted with the utmost concern for cross-cultural effects when extending this measurement instrument to a new population. The dyadic adjustment scale psychometrically has been acknowledged as one of the best paper and pencil indicators of dyadic adjustment, with more than 1,000 scientific investigations since its development. A tremendous amount of knowledge about dyadic relationships and their dissolution has been obtained through the use of the scale. It is therefore a widely used instrument for clinical and research applications with couples. Dyadic adjustment scale can be used in a variety of settings, including outpatient clinics, inpatient clinics, residential treatment centers, counseling facilities, and private practice offices. As a clinical tool, the dyadic adjustment scale can be used as an assessment device for couples who are considering or beginning marital counseling. Responses to individual items or subscales can serve as a basis for discussion and aid in the development of a treatment program. Its simplicity of administration, scoring, and interpretation also makes the dyadic adjustment scale an efficient assessment tool useful in a routine report of a couple's problems. Future studies of the clinical utility of the scale with therapy couples could also extend this work by using different therapy samples, such as different in family configuration, life cycle stage, sexual orientation, age, socioeconomic class, ethnicity, and country of origin. Although many therapeutic outcome studies have used the scale as an assessment measure of couple adjustment or satisfaction, more studies of the meanings of the scale score should be encouraged. Along this line would be studies that focus on intercouple scale score differences. For example, are there differences in the divorce potential between couples where the wife scores significantly higher than the husband when compared with couples where the husband scores significantly higher? Future studies of the clinical usefulness of the scale with particular presenting problems or therapy modalities is also encouraged. While you can find translations of the scale in some languages like Chinese, Portuguese, and French, the linguistic and cultural translation of the scale should be encouraged so that we can learn more about couple adjustment around the world.
Ultimately, the dyadic adjustment scale can provide therapists with a quick and effective means for analyzing and structuring couple issues into meaningful therapeutic goals. Not only an increased efficiency in the diagnosis and goal setting can be expected, but the scale might serve also as a benchmark or baseline to measure client change and therapeutic effectiveness. Therefore, when the dyadic adjustment scale is used both as an assessment and process instrument for structuring marital therapy, couples who complete therapy would have processed a comprehensive review of satisfaction, consensus, cohesion, and affectional expression issues. Subsequently, they should be in an excellent position to make critical decisions about the future of their relationship. 45 years after its inception, the dyadic adjustment scale continues to be a widely popular and often used measure in relationship research. The measurement of the relationship quality is important because the correlates and consequences of the relationship quality are so widespread and encompassing. Although it is hoped that the field will continue to produce and refine methods of measurement, the dyadic adjustment scale remains a viable force.